Welcome back, my fellow humans. Welcome back. Welcome back. We are back with Doki Doki Literature Club. Uh, we're just about wrapping it up soon. Uh, I got two two poems. Uh, last episode. Uh, hopefully, I hope this episode we can conclude Yuri's start off. Say, um, wow. Sayori is on top of my head today, isn't she? We can start off Natsuki's, and then hopefully end hers, given the fact that if this goes in the pattern that I assume, then we'll only have two members left, which will be her and Monica, and I'm pretty sure that that would go very quickly. At least I'm assuming. Anyway, we discovered that Yuri is very problematic. Well, not problematic, but she has a lot of personal issues to deal with. And so, uh, we're kind of causing her to be different. It was a crazy start from the beginning. Um, I'm gonna try to continue with the voice acting a bit. Uh, I'm sorry if I cut off, though, because as you can tell from the last episode, I, I kind of was switching back to my own voice. So, you know, we're gonna do what we can today. Anyway... I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. Oh god, who cares about the obnoxious brat? Have not. Okay, right off the bat! Okay, guys. Let's get ready for this shit show. I mean, I like how nice and quiet the club is right now. I'm just happy with you here. But still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Nobody would care. Nobody would cry if she killed herself. Oh! I should do the best. I should do my best to consider everyone's perspective and make the decision that's right for the club. But what about you, Let's Calm? What do you want to get out of this club? Yuri repeats the same question as Monica. I decided giving an indirect answer is better than nothing. I think the most important thing for everyone is to get along. And for the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. That's what will end up making the Literature Club a special place. I see. I really agree with you. Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way. With each change in members, the identity of the club as a whole will change too. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while. So if you would like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. Alright. Well, maybe you could talk to Natsuki tomorrow? Yuri nods. Hey, Yuri. Huh? Um, I know things were a little awkward yesterday, but I feel like you deserve to know that I still I still think you're a wonderful vice president and also a wonderful friend M Monica I Want to do everything I can to make this the best club ever, okay? Me too Yeah Let's all go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow Okay I look forward to it. Shall we go? Let's go. Um, please don't take this the wrong way, but I'm gonna chat a little bit with Lexicon before we leave, just to see what he thinks of his time here and all that. It's important to me as president. Yuri looks a bit troubled, but she doesn't protest. Okay, I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see the two of you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Monica waves as Yuri exits the classroom. Phew. Things have been a little... Have been hectic lately, haven't they? Let's go on. I just wanted to make sure you're enjoying your time here at the club. I would really hate to see you unhappy. I feel kind of responsible as president. And I really do care about you, you know? Oh god, you know, oh great, the screen is like this, this is bad signs, bad signs all over. 
I don't like seeing the other girls giving you a hard time. With how mean Natsuki is and everything. And you're being a little bit, you know, bad. Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. You know what I mean? But it's weird because in all the time you've been here, we hardly got to spend any time together. Uh, I mean, I guess it's technically only been a couple of days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something weird. There are just some things I've been hoping to talk about with you. Things that I know only you could understand. So that's why. Wait, not yet, no. Oh. Okay. Alright guys, this is a crazy day. So, like, as always, keep going with Yuri. Big words, big words. Wait, what? And was that? Who was that down there? I don't even know what number am I? That right, doesn't matter. Oh, will I get a perfect for the first time in a while? Damn! Was that Monica? That, that is Monica, right? I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? I brought my best tea today. Monica, I told you not to. Ugh. She really late again? Inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me. Oh no, please not again. Excuse me. Must you always interrupt my conversation with your incessant yelling what are you talking about you say that like I do it on a regular basis or something I just wasn't paying attention okay I'm sorry seriously what's gotten into you lately me N nothing is it really that bad I see it is something I'll get over it. It's not anything noteworthy. I've just been feeling a little on edge lately. A anyway. Oh, no, no. I can't do this again for another episode. No more burping. Anyway. We don't need to talk about it. Well, I just feel like I needed to bring it up. It's not like I care or anything. Oh, man. I'm the last one here again? Well, let's go on, just walked in too. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and still trying to make time for piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. It motivates me to work hard for the festival and um, right, I, I forgot, um, about that, Natsuki, we were all talking yesterday, and, well, we decided we would like to support the festival as well, however, I understand how you feel about not wanting the club to change, I think we all kind of feel that way, so as long as we're all working together, this club would never become something we don't want. Um, also, if you help us out in, with the festival, then I'll buy you new manga. Oh, wow, bribery. <laughs> Sorry, that last part was really funny. 
Look, I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something. But I know this is something we're doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. But more importantly, I would hate to see the event suck just because I choose to back out. I'm a pro, you know? So I'm gonna help out too, and we'll make sure it's done right. Thank goodness. Isn't that great, Monica? Monica? Huh? Yeah, that's wonderful. Wouldn't be the same without you, Natsuki. Anyway, let's go. What do you want to do today? I was thinking we could... We already have plans today. Ah. Is yeah, that so, Yuri? That's correct. Let's go. Let's go. Is already engaged in a novel we're reading together. Aren't you glad I already gotten him into literature, Monica? I, I suppose I was just. Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. I guess you guys can do whatever you want. Yes. Um. Thank you for understanding, Monica. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing I, that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri sends up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf. The kind with a filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electrical kettle. I'm gonna plug this in at the teacher's desk and now go get some more. Didn't I just didn't we just read all this? She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Yeah, we read this before. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Uh, I might as well walk with you. Th that's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. Picture in hand, Yuri hurries out the classroom. Ah, did Yuri leave you again? No, it's, it's not like that at all this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for the misunderstanding. Ten minutes pass. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? I'm bored just waiting here, so I decided to go look for her. Let's see. The most logical place for Yuri to be is the nearest water fountain. I start heading down the hallway. What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. Sharp inhale, like someone is sucking it. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer out with Yuri. She's cutting herself. And then everything goes again. Did, uh, sorry, I just had a really weird deja vu. This hasn't happened before or anything, right? My head's been a little fuzzy lately. I hope it hasn't really been showing it or anything. I would hate for you to think I'm weird just after we started spending time together. I mean, everyone has a few unusual things about them. But expression those things as soon as after meeting someone is usually seen as inappropriate or unlikable. At least that's what I discovered. When I was a bit younger, I think I would come on really strongly and get a little too intense. It made people not want to be around me. So I started hating those things about myself. My obsession with certain hobbies and the way I couldn't I can't control myself when I get too excited about something. So Eventually, I stopped trying to talk to people. If nobody ever, nobody could ever like me for the things that mattered most to me, then it's just easier if I close myself off. But recently, something's been wrong. I don't know what it is. But every time we come to the club, my heart starts to go crazy. Like it's going to rip out of my chest. 
It overwhelms me with energy and emotions that I can't let out. It's been making me do weird things. God, I got a burp. Ugh. Damn, I don't know why. Okay, I'm really... Okay. I don't know why it's happening. Let's McCall. Is it just me? Or has been Monica act, has been acting a little off lately? He's always been a sweetheart ever since I joined the club. But recently I've been feeling something sharp whenever she's around. I'm not crazy, right? Please tell me I'm not. I couldn't say anything before because she was always listening. But we're finally alone. Can we just stay here for a while? Yeah. Um, I just want to stay here. Just two of us. We can stay here until the club ends. And then we'll have the club room all to ourselves. Nobody to interfere with our reading time. Nobody to make me feel like stabbing myself in the throat. Ahaha. Uh -huh. That was a joke. Just a joke. I do like knives though. I don't... Wait. Um... Yuri, you have a little Monica in you? I d it sounds strange, but you wouldn't understand if you... If you've never seen how beautiful they can be. I have an idea. Why don't you come to my house sometime? I can show you my collection. I've gotten them from all various artisans. I'll make sure to give them all their fair share of use. I don't want them to get lonely or anything. Nobody deserves to be lonely. Nobody. And that's why I'm happy you joined the Literature Club, Lex Porn. Now we don't need to be lonely anymore. Because we have each other. Every day. That's all that we need. You know what? Let's quit the Literature Club. There's no need for us to be around Monica's slimy tongue anymore. Not to mention the other p p pathetic child. We can all walk home together every day after school. And read together, eat together, sleep together. Doesn't that sound perfect? It's everything we could ever want. Is that why you joined the literature club? Is that why you joined the club in the first place? It's almost like it was fate. Fate that we would meet each other. And now we get the happy ending that I've been patiently waiting years for. Will you do that for me, Lexi Popcorn? Will, all I read is Will. Let's show Monica since she wants to be attentioned. Oh god. Don't say I didn't warn you, Lex Pokemon. Okay. I'm not gonna read one of your suck up Yuri poems. But I'm still gonna make you read mine. There's a reason. I really wish I didn't have to do this. But unfortunately, I don't have much of a choice. Just read it carefully, okay? Oh no, that scares me. Then you can go away. I don't know how else to bring this up, but there has been something I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strangely. You've only been here for a few days, so you may not know what I mean. But she's no normally not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive things like that okay this is really embarrassing but i'm forcing myself to suck it up the truth is i'm really worried about her but if i try talking to her she'll just get mad at me again i don't know what to do i think you're the only person i should listen to i don't know why but please try to do something maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist i've always wanted to try be being better friends with yuri and it really hurts me to see this happening I know I'm gonna hate, I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now I don't care. I just feel so helpless. So please see if you can do something to help. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. Just please try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. 
It's like she wants us to ignore it. So I'm mad at her right now. So that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. Um, I've changed, I've changed my mind. Ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Let's go. If you want to spend more time with Monica, all these problems go away. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think, from, think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Alright then, um, Yuri? Finally. Haha. <laughs> Yuri holds my poem to her face and takes a deep breath. I love it. I love everything about it. This is I want to take this home. You let me keep it, please? Sure, I don't I don't care. Ahaha. Uh, you're too nice to me, let's go. I never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. N not really, but I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad, right? Yuri holds my phone to her chest. I'm gonna take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. I'll even touch myself with Elri. Okay. I'll give myself paper cuts so your skin oil enters my bloodstream. What the hell? Ah. Uh, you can have my poem too. Besides, after you read it. I know you're really gonna want to keep it here. Take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it. Oh, what the hell is this? What's that? Is this blood? Can you read the handwriting? Hello, do you like it? I wrote it for you. In case you couldn't tell, the poem is covered in is about. More importantly, I've endowed it with my son. See, aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? I, I think I'm gonna vomit. Yes and no to what? Yes? Monica? Okay everyone, it's time to figure out the festival preparations. Let's hurry and get this over with. Jeez, why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Ugh. Stagnating air is calm and foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Look, can we just get this done? I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry grant for this. Natsuki, I was thinking... I want to make cupcakes. Yeah, that. Glad we're on the same page. Yuri, you can... Well, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want as long as you think it will help. Monica? I'm not useless, you know. I, I know that. I already know what I like to do. We can't run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere for the occasion. I'm gonna make decorations and set up some nice mood lighting. There. See? That's a great idea. And that gives us all something to do. Yeah? What about Lux Parkour? That's what Swan is gonna help me. Wait, you? You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's how it is. Oh no, go oh, god. 
Like hell it is. What are you trying to pull? I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already most suitable for one person, but my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of my hands. Mine too. What, your cupcakes? Please. Okay. Like you would fucking know. All you care about is now dragging Lex Popcorn around with you and your stupid books. You and Monica. Hey. I didn't even do anything. Okay then, why not let Popcorn decide who he'll want to help instead of abusing of him instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. Just let Pop let Popcorn make the choice, okay? Okay, fine, fine. Jeez. Excuse me. Let's go on. I just, I know how. Uh, God, I know how fed up you are with these two by now. We can just. <laughs> okay, Natsuki, shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself. You shut your mouth. Jesus Christ. This is never gonna end. Just make the choice, okay? I mean, I'm sticking with you. Sticking with, um, you, I'm sticking with Yuri, right? Okay. Yay! You picked me. We can meet at your house this weekend. I promise it'll be fun. Is Sunday okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all. It is fair, Natsuki. It's what he chose. No, it's not fair. Giving us all the work and then taking Lex back home for yourself. What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I didn't even give you any work. You decided it for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable? <laughs> Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are, pulling Lexi Popcorn away from me every single time you're not included in something. Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others. Here's a suggestion. Have you considered killing yourself? It would be beneficial to your mental health. Yuri, you're scaring me a little. Natsuki, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See? That wasn't very hard. All I want to do is spend a little time with him. Is that so much to ask? Yuri follows Monica and Natsuki to the door. Hey, Lex Buckhorn. Yuri's really something, isn't she? Monica giggles as she, Yuri pushes her out the door. Finally. Oh, that's unpleasant. This is really all I wanted. This Kakon, there's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day with just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? <laughs> wow. There's something really wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I never felt this good in my whole life. I'm just being just being with you is far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. It feels like I'm gonna die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone you care about so much? To have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you? But if but if it feels so good. Then why does it feel more and more like something horrible is gonna happen? Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. But the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Lex Popcorn. I have to tell you, I'm madly in love with you. Like every inch of my body, every drop of blood in me is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica is listening. Please, Lex Popcorn, just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I even touch myself with the pen I stole from you. Oh, oh no, oh, Yuri, um, 
I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside you. Um, it's not the type of foreplay I'm into. I want you all to myself, and I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, like fuck one. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? I'm scared. Yes? <laughs> Wait, yeah. Oh! What the hell? What the fuck? What is this? Icy? <laughs> That's all I read, Icy. You want some iced tea? saying is there a point to this I don't want to skip any dialogue but supposed to happen uh what if I just how do I stop it just in case okay good oh wait what's going on now Time just passed. Why? So are we gonna go to morning? Okay, we're in morning. Oh, wait. Welcome to the literature club. It's always been a dream of mine to make something special out of the things I love. Now you're a club member, you can help me make that dream come true. In this cute game, every day is full of chit chat and fun activities with all adorable and unique club members. Say, Aurea, the youthful bundle of sunshine who values happiness the most. Natsuki, the decisively cute girl who packs a served with punch. Yuri, the timid and mysterious who finds comfort in the world of books. And of course, Monica, the leader of the club. That's me. I'm super excited for you to make friends with everyone and help the literature club become more of an intimate place for all new members. But I can tell already that you're a sweetheart. We promise to spend most of the time with me. Welcome to the literature club. It's always been a dream of mine to make special not your club member. You can help me make that dream come true. Every day is cute for the same thing. We promise to spend promise, 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 promise. So what do I do? 